Today we're going to do an unboxing of the separate Villa 9210. And we'll start from the box so that you understand when you receive your toilet exactly what the situation will be and how it's packaged. Now, the 9210 is our 12 volt model. It works on both AC and DC power, and I'll show you the difference as we unbox it. It will be marked 12 volt here and 9210 on the side. As you notice, the box is strapped. So as we go to unpack it, first, we undo our straps. And something that we have to keep in mind as we do this is that this box is fully strapped. It is not glued on the bottom. So that's a precaution just as I always recommend that you have it in the location that you're going to be installing it before you open the box. We package our toilets very well in Sweden. And so they do travel well as um, where we ship by FedEx ground service here in the United States. On the top of the box, first we have a template, which is our cutout template for where the cut throughs for both, goes this way, our drain tube on the bottom and our vent tube on the top for the minimum distance from the floor to the center of the drains. We package in with styrofoam packaging for security, pieces front and back. Your first section that will come out is our urine tube. Then the toilet will lift straight up out of the box. Like so. Within the box, we will also have two lids for the solid waste holding area. And we will have the 16 inch section of vent tube and one roll of 10 compostable bags. Now on the top of our toilet, for covering the seat, we have a plastic bag, inside of which we have some instructional material. We also have an instructional CD, and we have a sample piece of our BioTab tablet. Now, this is for use in the urine drain to alleviate buildup of uric acid crystals. I recommend that folks hang on to this and not use it to start, and only test it in the future if you tend to get problems with a clogging in the urine drain, which on all of the separate units, we recommend use of some white vinegar down the urine line weekly, just a cup or two, which would, will help break up any buildup. But if that doesn't keep up with it, the bio drain tablets will. And open up the unit, push down the yellow tabs, which lock the hinges open. There's an additional piece of cardboard packing material and a styrofoam block in the front. And then one other blocking piece. There is a foam piece that's up against our fan unit. Okay, kind of a hockey puck looking piece. All it is is a packing piece. Carefully pull forward the solid waste disposal buckets of which there are two. That's why it packs in tighter than it normally would when you're using the toilet. But keep in mind that there's two. I invariably will get calls from folks who've just received their toilet saying that they can't close the lid on the toilet and it's because both buckets are in. Within the solid waste section is our parts bag. One other packing piece down in the very bottom of the toilet underneath the blue rotating disc there is a single piece of styrofoam. That also needs to come out or the lower chamber won't rotate properly. Now a note as well, um, when you're moving the toilet around, you'll hear sometimes there's a little bit of rolling noise in the bottom. Under the rotating discs, there are 20 plus small ball bearings which allow that disc to rotate properly. So that's the sound that you're hearing if things are moving around in the toilet. I will close this up for now and review through the parts bag. Let's review the parts that will come with your unit. Now, first off, the only difference in parts that you will receive that are different between the 9210 AC-DC model or the 9200 AC model is the inclusion 
of the AC adapter within the 9210, okay? Otherwise, you receive two meters of the flexible urine tube. There are clips that come for mounting the urine tube to the wall or to the floor as needed, and an escutcheon plate which goes over the end of the urine tube for the trim piece against the wall or the floor. You have the section of vent pipe, 15 inch section of vent pipe, and a trim piece for against the wall for where the cup through goes. For the urine tube again, for exit on the back of the toilet, we have a straight union and a 90, and this is for the junction coming right out of the toilet. And then if you are extending past the two meter length, we have unions that are set, two unions that ship, one which will match up the one inch flexible tube to one and a quarter inch PVC, the other that will match it to one and a half inch PVC. Back to our vent pipe, we have 290 degrees, a collar, matching collar for extending 75 millimeter to 75 millimeter, which is the dimension of this pipe. We have a short piece of 75 millimeter tubing. And then we ship with two packages. Now keep in mind, in Sweden, we package our products for the Canadian and the US market together. So the smaller of the two of these, you actually don't need. Those are for Canadian pipe. The larger of them are set so it will marry up our 75 millimeter pipe to standard three inch schedule 40 pipe. We also ship a small tube of silicone, although generally I will recommend that pick, folks pick up a small tube of white silicone to use. This is a clear silicone. If you are exiting using the 75 millimeter tubing through the roof, it has a roof cap, and we also have insect screens. It comes with a package of two screens, and this depends for where you are going to use them. I'm not cutting very easily, so let's go like this. So you have a larger and a smaller screen. The smaller of the two screens is designed to fit inside of the vented pipe, which if you were exiting straight through the wall, fits inside of the 75 millimeter tube to end on the exterior of the wall. If you are going up and through the roof cap, then the larger fits inside the 75 millimeter and the rain cap will go over the top. Okay? Now, also, we have a set of mounting screws with um, sheetrock shields and an Allen wrench. For the bottom of the toilet, there is a piece that's like a weather stripping, which goes on the very bottom edge of the toilet. I'll show you where that goes and helps to keep the toilet from moving or shifting on the floor. And we have our package of 10 compostable solid waste bags. Also, the two solid waste buckets and the pair of lids. We have a urine diverting child seat for use with all of our toilets that have our standard seat. So that is both the villa and the weekender models. Has a set of clips in the back, clips in and pushes down into place, lines everything up so it's very easy for youngsters and toddlers now, the child seat in past year shipped as part of the standard packaging with the villa. Starting this year, it does not. So from summer of 2017 on, the urine diverting seat is an accessory. We found too many of our folks just didn't use them, so we eliminated them from the standard kit. We reviewed the separate villa 9210 AC-DC version, which will run on either AC power or DC power. We've also made reference today to the 9200 AC only. Call us for any additional information. We also have resellers around the country 
who handled the separate product along with other eco-oriented products. So either they or us can give you additional information. And we thank you for your time. Look forward to speaking with you.